In this presentation we're going to look at how to compute descriptive statistics for a data set. We are using SPSS version 19 and the data set is called iris.save. The variables we're going to look at are the four variables in the iris data set. So let's bring up SPSS there and there we have it there. So there they are, the four numeric variables, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. What we want to do is comp compute the descriptive statistics for each of these four variables. So what we would do there is go to, first off, go to Analyze, and then we go to Descriptive Statistics. Now we still have quite a few ob uh, options there in front of us, so again we're going to click on Descriptives. So. What we do there now is, I'm going to unselect them, so we would have a series of numeric variables there that we would um, we get to choose from. So I'm go we are going to pick all four of these here and select all of those. Now let's also look at what options we have to choose from. We have the mean, the sum, standard deviation, variance range, minimum, maximum, uh, the m standard error of the mean, also the kurtosis and the skewness. Now I'm going to deselect a few of these here just to make the input a bit easier to read. I will get rid of the variance there. So uh, let's can click on that. We also have display order there, the variable list, alphabetic order, ascending means. We'll just pick a uh, alphabetic order. There are a couple of different types of order there. So continue that and we're okay. Let's okay that. So the output window comes up and we have our output here descriptives. So here are our four variables. The first variable here is actually, or the first uh, column here refers to the number of valid cases. So is there any missing data here? And uh, this is what would be indicated by uh, the sort of disparities amongst these numbers, amongst these numbers here. So then we have the range and sum. So the range is uh, 5.9 and 2.4 of for that one, uh, 3.6, 2.4. That's the maximum value minus the minimum minimum value. We have the sum of the s data sets. We have the mean value and the standard error for that mean value. We also have scrolling across. We have the standard deviation for each of the three, uh, each of the four variables. The skewness with the statistic and the standard error, and the kurtosis the st with the statistic and the standard error. And that is our presentation concluded.